it is. It feeds your ego. I mean, you know, you say to yourself, all right, all of a sudden these banks, which wouldn't give you the time of day, some of them all of a sudden are willing to, you know, give you a billion dollars. Hmm. So, and they, 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 start, they said, we're going to start a, a fund, you know, but we need you to commit to the money. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, I, you know, I think I can do it. Well, I'd been writing about Bernie for, I guess, probably two years since the whole story broke, and I'd written him a number of letters, and I guess like uh, every journalist really wanted to hear what Bernie had to say. Um, and then I made friends with a very interesting and unusual inmate named Robert Rosso, who happened to be a friend of Bernie's and who agreed to pass Bernie uh, a letter from me and, and I think to some extent vouched for me, uh, for my credibility, um, and that set the ball in motion. Bernie talks often about his remorse and how he's sorry and how he didn't want to hurt his victims and nothing justifies what he, what he did. I mean, I think at the same time it's very clear that Bernie feels that he hasn't been given the understanding or to some extent sympathy that, that he deserves. Uh, he doesn't feel he should be dismissed as a person. He feels that, um, as he told me, he feels he's not a horrible person. It was the people that came in very late in the game that, that, that got hurt. Right. So, so I, did I make a lot of money for people? Yeah, yeah. I made a lot of money for people. You know, did people lose uh, profits that they thought they made? Yes, you yeah. know, but did they lose capital? I'm sure, I'm confident that when this thing is all finished, very few people, if any, will lose